Hello, and welcome to this episode of Andy's Auto Sport TV. We get the question quite a bit about what the difference is between a short ram intake and a cold air intake. Today we're going to clear that up for you and decide which one is the best for your car. Okay, I'm going to give you the short answer first and then in a few minutes we'll go through and elaborate uh, a little more on the, the differences between the two systems. Basically a short rim intake is exactly that. It's a short piece of pipe with an air filter element on the end. Very simple, very simple to install and that's it. While a cold air intake is designed to bring in air from outside uh, the engine compartment so you can get a cooler, denser charge. Usually the air filter element is in the fender well or something to that effect. The advantage of both of these systems and why they increase horsepower is they get rid of that factory restrictive air box and that factory restrictive air filter. Great systems and, a, and an excellent way to upgrade your car. So this is an example of a short ram intake. As we said, short piece of pipe, very simple. Designed with two things in mind. Ease of installation and uh, increase of horsepower, of course. So this one comes with a silicon hose that bolts to your throttle body and then to the air intake and then an air filter element that goes on the end. You have this bracket that bolts to the bottom and then allows it to keep from vibrating as you're driving down the road. Now this is a very inexpensive way to increase horsepower in your car. The only disadvantage really to this system is that you are drawing all the air in from under the hood. So the temperatures are going to be a little higher on your air inlet than what they would be with a cold air intake. This is a great option uh, to do an installation of an intake on your car. Now we come to the cold air system. Now these systems are significantly different than the short ram. They're designed to bring in cool air from outside the engine compartment. So colder air equals denser air. Basically what happens then, your ECU compensates for the extra air by adding more fuel, creating more power. I've got a couple examples here. As you can see, they're quite a bit more complex than the short ram system that we just looked at. Now this engine technology system that we have here, as you can see, it's got this S tube, um, it allows it to pull in air from the fender well, uh, so it does get that outside air temperature, but it also has different connections here. They go to a switching valve, to a charcoal canister, uh, to different emissions devices on the car, and then also you have a place for a mass air meter that bolts in right here. Very complex, difficult to install, but absolutely worth it getting that cold air into the engine to help create that extra horsepower and get rid of that factory air box and that factory filter, of course. Now this is another example of a cold air kit. A little different than the engine kit we just looked at. This one does bring in cold air, although it separates a section under the hood where cold air comes in from the outside. How it does it is they have this separator plate and this bolts under the hood and then it has a seal that goes on the top of it that usually seals to the bottom of the hood and then allows that one spot to have that little cold air section under the hood. Then the cold air tube or intake tube bolts to the plate here and then it has this really neat velocity ring that bolts on here and then of course you put your K&N filter right on the top. That's a good way of getting cold air in your engine. One thing to mention about the K&N systems their filters come with a 1 million mile warranty. So K&N, this is probably the last filter you'll ever buy for that car. So here you have a couple of examples of cold air systems. As you can see, they are quite a bit more difficult to install. But if you're looking for that extra horsepower for your car, a cold air system is a great way to go. So now you know the difference between a short ram intake and a cold air kit. The only thing left is for you to decide which is best for your car. Check out andysautosport.com and see what we have available. And don't forget about our price match guarantee. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Andy's Autosport TV.